Shani, Steve, what up? Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking to you about what you should do before you decide to cheat. In the word decide is the word side, like suicide. So when you decide, you are deciding to kill off all other options. That was smooth. Number one, what am I jeopardizing? Don't you have a business plan to finish? Love you. Be appreciative of what you have. Number two. Let me say number two. Okay, go number ahead. Two. Number two. Never put yourself above cheating. I feel like, you know, I have the inability to cheat. I, I, I can't even get tempted. It's like a disease. Like, how could you cheat? I am immune to cheating. You think people who cheat have like a, a like a chromosome off or something? Because I don't have that chromosome. You feel me? Because when you put yourself above it, you act like you're immune to it, and then you're not being aware of the triggers that will actually make you cheat. Pretty good. That's up. Number three. Tell them your desires. Babe. Babe. What if I cheated on you? Tomorrow. I just feel like things just haven't been right between us. I've been having these feelings. You wanna get this out beforehand before you decide to do anything stupid. Bonus, 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 bonus! Get me, get me, get me, get me. Why you just gotta add something? <laughs> you don't have to add, just leave it at the explosion. New video from Little Cross Eyes, Booty Cheeks. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any more ways to prevent cheating, put them in the comments below. This is killing our, our couples. The divorce rate is way too high. Shani and Steve, out. Never put yourself above cheating because when you put yourself above when you put yourself above anything, you will be more succumb to fall to it. <laughs> Don't give any. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bite me, you weirdo. Never put yourself above cheating. <laughs> I don't even know what we're saying anymore. <laughs>